Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the top 10 fiendish, horrible, and evil weapons that we're not supposed to use. And just before we get started, I will say that this video is made in collaboration with Dr. Matthew Zarzekny of HistoryAndHeadlines.com. For more content just like this, head on over to HistoryAndHeadlines.com. Now, on the 4th of April 1984, President Ronald Reagan made a public plea to the world to ban chemical weapons. Already outlawed by previous treaties, the widespread use of various chemical chemical weapons in World War I was the peak of chemical warfare, but these terrible weapons have not totally disappeared. Today, we're looking at the top 10 fiendish, horrible, and evil weapons that we're not supposed to use, either by international agreement or at our own decision. Number 10. Poison Gas not to be confused with your baby nephew and his highly toxic diaper, a variety of poisonous gases were used during World War I, notably chlorine, phosgene, and mustard, which is also a blistering agent that horribly burns the skin and mucous membranes. Scientists have created a cornucopia of more modern poison gases, such as VX, nerve gas, GAGBGD, sarin, as well as others. Most of these do disperse with time, but mustard notably lingers for many years, creating an environment mental nightmare. Some of these jewels of science gone mad have also caused blindness in victims. Use of poison gas goes all the way back to 1000 BC, when toxic substances such as arsenic or irritating herbs such as mustard were burned to produce noxious clouds. Despite being banned in 1899 and 1907 at The Hague, the use of poisoned weapons and poison reached an all-time high during World War I, when the French became the first combatants to use poison gas. The 1925 Geneva Convention produced a protocol which nations signed promising to never use poison gas again. The US Senate did not ratify this treaty, by the way, until 1975. Many countries used various forms of poison and poison gas between the world wars, but only Japan used these chemicals in any meaningful way during World War II, but only against the Chinese. Since World War II, rogue states such as Iraq have used poison gas, and terrorists have also employed chemical weapons. Despite enormous stockpiles of toxic chemicals, the Soviet bloc and Western allies never did resort to using these during the Cold War. Non-deadly forms of chemical agents such as vomiting agents, malodorants, and tear gas may be used as long as they do not cause any permanent damage. Number 9. Biological Toxins these are naturally produced toxins that can be deadly and are treated like chemical weapons both in use and in being legally banned. Examples include ricin, saxitoxin, and botulinum toxin. Number 8. Biological Diseases from ancient times, warfare has included throwing dead bodies infected with smallpox, plague, or other diseases over the wall of fortifications to attack the defenders. Europeans intentionally gave blankets infected with smallpox to Native Americans, effectively wiping out enormous numbers of the Native American population. Weaponized anthrax is a favorite of the 20th and 21st century. Diseases could also be used to decimate an enemy's crops or livestock. Apocalyptic movies, television shows, and novels and the like often depict a weaponized virus or germ, for example, Captain Trips, the T-Virus, etc., that becomes out of control and either kills everyone, almost kills everyone, or perhaps creates zombies. Scientists claim such evil efforts at creating a super disease can indeed cause millions, or perhaps even billions, of deaths. Number 7. Poison and Poisoned Weapons Another supposedly banned practice is using some toxic coating on weapons to make them more lethal, such as coating bullets in cyanide or some such poison. The past practice of poisoning water supplies with either chemicals, diseases, or toxins is also frowned upon today. Booby traps containing sharp bamboo staves supposedly dipped in water buffalo urine or feces were used by the Viet Cong against the Americans in Vietnam. Number 6. Nukes in Space a treaty known best as the Outer Space Treaty, because the formal name is ridiculously long, bans the use of weapons of mass destruction from outer space and bans the militarization of the moon. This treaty, circa 1967, was mainly meant to keep nukes from being stationed in orbit above the Earth. An oversight in drafting of the treaty failed to include stationing conventional weapons in space, which includes some not conventional stuff, just not nukes or chemicals or biologicals. What about lasers or some other sort of death ray that could shoot down an enemy's nuclear missiles? Well, that's up for debate. Number 5. Napalm and Fire Weapons Against Civilians 
After the US and UK incinerated German and Japanese cities during World War II, including their populations, it took until 1980 for a treaty banning incendiary weapons such as napalm against civilians to be signed. The United States refused to agree to this international law until 2009, and even then, with the reservation that they could use these fire weapons on civilians if such a use would save more civilian lives than it cost. Try and figure out that equation. Number 4. Neutron Bomb This is a nuclear bomb with a small yield blast, but an enhanced radiation aspect in order to produce a brief but intense dose of radiation. The enhanced amount of radiation is meant to kill mass quantities of people while minimizing damage to buildings and infrastructure. Sound fiendish to you? Well, it sounded fiendish to the allies of the US, and these allies refused to have such weapons based in their countries during the 1980s, and the ERWs that were produced were quietly retired. Another use of the ERWs was to use in warheads of anti-ballistic missiles with the hope that the large release of radiation would deactivate or cause partial fission of incoming nuclear warheads. International opinion, but not actually a treaty, has banned these weapons. Dirty bombs are a highly radioactive material blown up and scattered over a large area without a nuclear explosion and are kind of related to ERWs. The idea of a dirty bomb is something that particularly fascinates terrorists who can't actually build a nuclear weapon. Number 3. Dum Dum Bullets the invention and use of smokeless gunpowder resulted in bullets traveling so fast down the rifle bore that the lead would be wiped off by the rifling grooves, and the bore would foul and the bullets would not go straight. The solution was to encase the lead bullet in a jacket of copper gliding metal. The result of such a full metal jacket bullet was that the bullet would not flatten on its impact with a person, and would often zip right through a body, leaving minimal damage to flesh and bone. The British Army came up with a solution at the Dum Dum Arsenal in India, which was to remove the nose area of a jacket, a soft point from the bullet, exposing a soft lead nose that would expand in a person, possibly even fragmenting, leaving a massive and horrifying wound. A similar technique quickly followed, that of leaving a hollow cavity in the nose of the bullet, a hollow point, which gave a similar performance to the soft point. Germany protested this expanding bullet's development in 1898, and in the Hague Convention of 1899, expanding bullets were outlawed for military use. And as an interesting aside here, exploding bullets were actually banned in 1868. Number 2. Blinding Weapons the 1980 Protocol on Blinding Laser Weapons outlawed the use of lasers or other such devices to cause permanent blindness to enemy soldiers. However, the use of laser rangefinders and laser-guided weapons can still incidentally cause blindness without violating the law. Number 1. Non-Detectable Fragments Another fiendish weapon is the use of non-metallic mines, bullets, or bomb casings, usually mines, in order to avoid mine detection. These weapons may use various plastics or glass that does not show up on x-rays or other medical detection devices and may cause undue suffering and misery to the victim by preventing effective medical treatment. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that like button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.